Once again, another guy has come in and has started trying to play retail WoW. Day 9. Very well known for esports. I think this guy's been around longer than I have been. He finally played WoW for the first time. Here we go. Am I insane? Because I feel insane. Okay, half of you saying yes, half of you saying no. Perfect. Perfect. This is the path from the tutorial? Uh-huh. What? Uh-oh. So I... I got to the end of the tutorial. So let me make sure I got this fucking straight, okay? I want to be really clear about what is happening in my mind's eye. Uh -huh. All right? Let me... Okay. I'm going to try not to cry. I played World of Warcraft Classic last week. What Ooh. happened then? I enter into a field in front of a building. And there's a dude saying, go kill boars. Yeah. Sir, yes, sir. It's slow, it's bland. I see a lot of places to go. Yeah. I start completing some quests. There's a genteel pace. I yeah. open up more and more and more and more. This world shrouded You kill wolves and, and then kobolds. It, more is revealed. Right. My curiosity guides me. Probably should High hit High levels of enemies stop me. That interplay guides me for sure. like 10 hours. And I'm like learning some magic, I'm getting Great. some skills. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of slick, thick, mm -hmm. solid and tight. And so I think, hey, I heard WoW retail is a pretty cool way to tap into WoW as a brand new gamer. Who told him that? Which one of you guys decided to do this to him? You think you're funny doing this to somebody? This is fucked up, guys. Why would you say that? Maybe you didn't enjoy the hardcore mechanics of 2004's Wilds Class. That's okay. Blizzard has a retail modern experience for you. So this Tuesday, like, let's see, like four hours ago, okay. I said, I'm going to open WoW Retail, and I just hit play. Okay. It dumps me on an island where there's a bunch of people where I have to save my son. The son's like, oh, you saved me. You have to kill harpies now. And, a, a, I don't know, a gnome thing a gadget man taped me to like a helicopter to fly up and then like fly back down and like ride a huge boar at some points i learned some button pressing different abilities it's telling me to drag things i'm killing some dudes i'm dragging loot over to my equipment mm -hmm. but for the most part i would say in the tutorial island 20 to 25 percent of it was me actually playing a game 75 percent of it was dialogue and people that, that i, I fucking hate that that's so true I fucking hate that with games. Like, I go in to play a game, and they're like, okay, so you have to do this, and you have to do that, and you have to understand that, like, the world, basically, okay, so, uh, 300 years ago, there was a portal that opened up, and then, like, the demon prince came through the portal, and then, so we had to have our Avengers come over and destroy the demon prince, and then, so the demon prince was destroyed, but his soul was there, and so they had to take different pieces of his soul to all the different castles, and then, now, one of the castles got destroyed, and the soul piece is gone and the demon prince is gonna come back and so that actually reminds me of who lived in that castle so 500 years ago in that castle it's like what is this when do i get to play what is this? Like, he give it. This is crazy. Who asked? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Just let me play the game. It's crazy. I get so mad about that shit. I'm never going to see again. Yeah. Maybe some of them Who were at cares? the gates. And I, don't, I don't know. I'm gone. I got on a boat just now. Like, all these people mm -hmm. trying to compel me to do things. Right. Just stapling information to my forehead. Yeah. And I'm just sitting here with so many staples and posted And this is the problem with like a lot of games is that the way that they introduce systems like I don't I, like I am a, a very clearly at least on stream I am an incredibly slow learner but I bet that my experience is not that abnormal I bet a lot of people get overwhelmed by like some games that just like fucking just like send you this deluge of like there's like this thing and that thing and the other thing and the other thing and that thing and then the thing that builds onto that like all at the same time it's exhausting my face and i'm like god why don't you learn all of this and it's just like what? yeah it's you hard to learn it that pretty clearly 
I mean, and sure, I think I... also like one of the problems with that is the fact that doing that is fundamentally not how people learn things. Most people learn things by doing them and by experimentation. Not by just being told this massive laundry list of things to remember. I don't think that's how people learn. So whenever you do that, and then you have something that's contingent on you remembering something out of that laundry list, you're just asking for a mistake to happen. I suppose, but that's not really my problem. The problem that I had with the tutorial is it was mm -hmm. so much contextless information with such little gameplay. That's such a great way to put it. Contextless information. Absolutely. How can you possibly like fit this into like a web of knowledge whenever you just started playing the game? But that's okay. Info dumps, yeah. It's shoving information down my throat. I'm doing the UHF drinking from the fire hose, mm -hmm. which for any millennials watching, hopefully you get the reference. For any Zoomers watching, just trust me, it's gone forever. It yeah. then brings me to Stormwind. Great. This self-isolated tutorial island did have some merit in terms of showing me the basic flow of the game. It brings me to the whole world. I can now go anywhere I want to go. I yeah. go back to the original area and have a brief moment of, ah, the familiarity, the pacing, the slow grind and growth of the game. But I say, no, 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 no. I'm not done with the tutorial. I derailed myself. I have to go back. I go back to the city where I get into a car that drives me to a horse that I ride to an inn that I then go from to a boat where all of a sudden... That sounds pretty bad. I'm yeah. watching like... I don't know, the characters from Frozen yelling at each other. And I'm on the ship. I'm not in any of the cutscenes. Mm -hmm. It's just not about me anymore. I'm just on this Yeah, you're just boat. there. And now I'm in a jail. And my jailmate is just like, beat the shit out of me. So I do. And now we're breaking people out of jail. And I'm... I, I, and I'm still... I'm still not fucking playing a game. I want to cast spells. I want to... I want to cast spells on things. Where are my spells? I, this video, I cannot express how much I appreciate this video. I really can't. This is exactly how I fucking feel. It, it's cathartic. It is. Like, yes, fucking exactly. How's the cast? I, I, I'm like so confused, man. I like don't understand because this is like the most played MMO of all time. And I'm like sitting here and everyone's like, oh yeah, this is a really weird expansion here. And I'm just, uh -huh. just I want to, I want to find a frost mage. I want to cast. I want things to be really, really, really cold around me as I freeze them and I cast things. Like I don't, and this is the thing. People keep saying to me, yeah, they really dumbed retail down. I'm actually just so fucking confused. I don't know. I literally... This is the problem. This is what I said. Is it's, it's The people that are saying that are the people that have played the game for 10 years. Like, isn't it also important to let people endure that kind of boredness while gaming? Otherwise, it would lead to how dumb people are now? Well, no, because Classic WoW... So, the problem is that the game tells you what to do, and the game used to show you what to do. Like, for example... Like you're in classic WoW, the game teaches you mechanics one or two at a time, and those mechanics can have fail states. Like you can die at level three. You're realistically never going to die whenever you're leveling in retail WoW. It's not going to happen. So, like, you're just being kind of fed through this conveyor belt where you're not learning anything, you're not processing new information. You're not even needing to use the information. You're just following the the you know the little marker on the map until you're at the max level. I feel like I've just been doing it wrong. Yeah. That's what I feel like. 
Mm -hmm. It feels like one of those movies where, like, no, a you're high not. school student is in Italy and they somehow think she is the secret agent for the CIA. Yeah. So she gets swept up into the mission. That's what I feel like. Yep. But the thing is, this isn't a fictional movie. This is my life, and I'm just still confused. So I guess I'm going to yeah. help Flynn Fairwind, who I hope isn't in here for, like, child murder. Yeah. I hope isn't a bad person. The first introduction I had to Flynn was him asking me to punch him. And now I'm hoping that all these people that I've broken out are killing what I assume are yeah. innocent guards. And now I'm just going to go. Out. I mean, there's so much. This is what I talked about. And I'm really glad to see this because, like, this is, like, so, like, validating for me. Because this this perfectly illustrates the absolute confusion that retail is. It's like so over designed and complex that like how can a game like and this guy you've got to remember this guy is a professional video game player. Imagine what your average Joe thinks. What the fuck, bro? Oh my god, I gotta. I'm just gonna go play Fall Guys. I had to pay fifteen dollars for this shit. Jeez, I gotta go lay down. I'm crossing my fingers yeah. as I step into what still may not wind up being a game. Okay? Every month. So let's yeah. find out if we can do a game. Are you thirsty? I'm thirsty. Am I thirsty? I'm so fucking confused. Yeah. You can invite another player to your group by right clicking on their porch. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus, man, it's like. Are you thirsty? Okay, let me close this. I feel it without additional context. This just looks insane. Why do you start BFA anyways? Real number, Jay. I, I'll be honest with you. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't the game tell you to start BFA? Because, like, that's how it was. They funneled you into BFA. Yeah, you did, like, the, the intended gameplay is Exiles, Exiles Reach into BFA. at all to me i'm following instructions mm -hmm. you're forced what into bfa what is going on in there? yeah what Sounds is like you a riot. what is no, going on that's I mean, a good like, question the escalation is incredible cool it's like a cooking tutorial where episode one is assembling a sandwich using cheese and deli meat and episode two is butcher a cow like the it i don't know how i have no idea why i'm here should i sorry didn't what is this yeah, where am I? Should I keep doing this? Do I keep doing this? Yeah, draw the rest of the fucking MMO. Exactly, Burner Man. Oh my god. Okay. So, Ghost, is this basically the end of the tutorial merging into battle for Azeroth? I know what he's talking about. He's talking about this. This is the retail WoW tutorial. <laughs> there it is, guys. Guys, it's simple. <laughs> Bro, this game's been dumbed down so much. This is so... It's obvious, don't you know? Yeah, because like in Burning Crusade in 2008... <laughs> oh, so that's what BFA means. Okay. Okay, so the name of the expansion is uh -huh. Battle for Azeroth. Right. And that's what you mean when you say BFA. Because when I saw BFA... My brain was trying to think of a noun that ga that began with A that was big fucking something. Like, that's what I assumed that big you were saying. Big fucking ass, And yeah. then when, when all of you were saying battle for Azeroth, most of you weren't capitalizing, like, with proper nouns, so I just thought that you were colloquially being like, yeah, no, you did the tutorial, then it's time to battle for Azeroth. I was like, that's a weird way to say you go level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a cringe right, wild phrase. Some cultural, you know, yeah. mismatch happening where I don't get what the words you're, you're saying are. Let's talk to Talia. Who you actually have no idea who she is. She's the Lich King's daughter. But she doesn't know he's the Lich King. But if you interact with her in Stormwind, she does know. Because that's in a different timeline. Obviously. If you played Wrath of the Lich King, you'd know that. Right. 
We can't win them all, right? This, this, bro, retail wow is too hard. He made it. Nice. All right, come on, Talia. I know exactly where I'm going. There's a giant glowing hedron to go. Oh, fuck, this is not the right way. There's a giant glowing hedron that will at least show me my destination. Fuck, do I get over to you? Up here? Dude, it's just so sick. I mean, this, the, the the art is beautiful. Not a kinsis. To be fair, Borlas was a really nice city. It was a lot better than Oribos, I'll tell you that. Oribos was a shithole. Every time I was in Oribos, I wanted to go lay down. Art department has hard carried Blizzard for a long while now, I feel. I actually think that's such an unfair statement. Oribos was an that airport? Yes. Yeah. That it's not there was part an LAX. of the experience. It's just this like extra thing. That's like, oh. When it comes to staying alive, calories are really doing a lot of heavy lifting. Like, yeah, of course. Like, this fucking. Like, oh, you mean one of the most important and difficult parts of making a good game is the thing that has been causing them to succeed with respect to their peers that just across the board have worse art? Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, that's like, that's like, type yeah, I, I think that WoW has amazing art, and I think the WoW art has aged better than basically any other MMO. I think it's aged better than, like, RuneScape is like such a weird thing, I can't even really put it in the category. But I think it's aged better than Final Fantasy XIV. I think that it's the boss. Some of the boss fights in Final Fantasy XIV are way better than the WoW boss fights, though. To be fair, uh, the spectacle of them. Um, I, I think it's aged better than like Guild Wars, uh, better than ESO, like Eve. Yeah, everything. It's it's aged so well. Even classic WoW has. Underwood's golf swing has really been carrying his golf career. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I don't. What, what do you want me to do with that? Like what, like, what department's been slight? Yeah. You know what? Tell me the department that's bad. What's the department? Where do I start? Department that's bad. Engineering, obviously not. It runs buttery smooth. Besides the 10 server kicks. That's right. Okay, you know what? You're right. No, the game doesn't play well at all. Yeah, it doesn't play well. Like, uh... The lag whenever you're in, like, an area with a lot of other people is awful. I got kicked a lot my first day of playing WoW. The tutorial department, great point. The tutorial department definitely is going to have some hands on the hips from me when I meet them. Yeah, true. Right. The market hosts travelers from all over Azeroth. There are many taverns, but... This one's my favorite. I spend a lot of time in here, pestering travelers. But I have a rewards card. Especially folks from it tracks my miles traveled. Who is she talking to? Get free complimentary breakfast at the inn. Where is this? Where is this office? Is it behind here? Is it through here? I feel like such an idiot. I hate. I hate these little diamonds that show up on the screen. It's so fucking misleading. Dragon Banks, has he fought anything yet? Uh, some uh, BFAs on the way in. To be honest. Are you kidding me? It's down here? If you read the quest, maybe it'll tell you where it is. I'm sorry, they've added all these great accessibility features. So I just I do think that this problem seems very realistic. Is that you're having players try to navigate a brand new area in a brand new game that has three or four different levels of verticality. I I think you're just asking for a mistake to happen. Yeah, like, I mean, if the, if the game's been out, like, if it's for, like, experienced players, then, yeah, for sure. But, I mean, again, like, if you take yourself totally out of the game and you look at it from a new player perspective, I could easily see this happen. I keep rubbing my face against walls like I'm a cat leaving pheromones or some shit. Nope. I lost my mother when the scourge hit Lordaeron. The father sent me hair raised. For what are the scourge? What's Lordaeron? Who's Dalen Proudmore? Oh, probably going to, oh, let's go. Wow, that was no wonder they removed. You need to be close to interact with the target. I'm going to go insane. There's a little circle, and the little circle's taunting mm -hmm. me, just the way you taunt me. You're all little circles, aren't you? I swear to God, I'm going to find this one on my own because I'm a gamer. I hope Blizzard watches this video. Because I feel like this is... 
I think there's like so much of a crazy feedback loop that fans give to Blizzard where they never actually pay attention to what the real new player experience is and how inaccessible the game is. I wonder like how long it's going to take for this to get fixed. I'm back if it will ever happen fucking again. I don't believe it. Did I find it? Yeah! Woo! There it is. It's gonna, is they're gonna it? fix it in WoW too? Wow, oh, okay. you're saying that in the most what shitty way. Is? I know it was hard for me. Oh, look, it's like properly right here. It's always weird. And this is the problem, right? Is like, obviously I bet people in chat were like calling them dumb and like saying like, oh, you should have figured it out earlier. But like the people in the chat that are doing that, like you're not thinking about it. You're thinking about like, what would I do if I was you? Not would not like what would he do? Because like these are people that have put like ten hours, you know, a day into the game for years. Oh, big surprise! You figure out the game. You know what's going to happen. Is this like real? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, this is real life. What? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Stand down! Don't you know who that is? No, I don't know who anyone is. It is an honor. You are free to remain in the harbor on my authority. Oh, okay. What? What was any of this? For family. When am I gonna get to play a game? For the Lord Shake his hand. And had her own. Hear Cyrus's tale. Is this? Don't tell me this is fucking what Cyrus. Do? Why would you oh my God. Man. Hmm. Humor an old knight for a moment, would you? No. I was in a battle many You're years. killing me. It was You're killing me. War, tough to keep them all straight. Oh my god. An orcus juggernaut struck our transport. Splinters he from the gust stubborn one. one. Refused to leave before the war was won. So he patched my himself friend up. never saw. All right, there we go. I figured out a way to solve all that problem. I mean, I I just, like, because if you go back to the real MMO, if you go back to Classic WoW, it was so much simpler and easier to understand. It's actually crazy looking at this through the eyes of a new player. This is unbelievable. I, I When am I going to get to fight anything? I mean, my God, I went through a tutorial, ran through town to get to another... Set of cutscenes, I'll go into town. Let's see if it's... But she is misguided. Her advisors have kept her... All right, there we go. Like, I mean, this oh is... Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's just turn that back down for a moment. Wait. It... We're done? Can I play the game? Finally, some action. Stay on course. Duty course. Stay on course. Dismissed. Honor guide. Wait, he just completed the quest? Speak with someone. Remain vigilant. Damn, Dan, I'm not reading any of it. I love to pay a monthly subscription to a real-time action MMO so I can read. Listen, I love reading, but when I want to read, I, I get a book and I read. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? This is a big problem that a lot of games have, is they do narrative exposition in a way that cannibalizes gameplay. Why is it not possible that you can be moving and playing the game while they are explaining the story to you? Like, for example, in Path of Exile, whenever you click on the rocks in Act 1, Calm led his people here, and he said, this is the chosen land. And you don't have to sit next to the rock and wait for it to talk to you. You click on the rock, and then you keep going. Gamers don't mind reading, but it's almost never something that's worth reading in a game. Well, the thing is, you're right. And also, like, the game hasn't built up that investment that you have in order to make you want to read about it. What you did for Classic? It's because it was the only way to play. It made me play. Goldfish attention? At what point... If somebody isn't paying attention to what you're doing, at what point is it your fault? What if it's just boring? Like, 
if you ever thought about that, like, wow, everybody's saying this is, nobody's paying attention to this. Maybe, maybe whenever everybody's saying this, there's a problem with it. And I had it's to just filler. Yeah, so it that is. way I could know where to go. I'm upset too, sweetheart. I'm so ready to play World of Warcraft. Excellent. Hero, Talia will get you up to speed. <coughs> Come back with stories. Ooh. Tiris is made up of several major houses. Which, by the way, I want to make sure he understands this if he ever sees this. This information will have no relevance to him at all after one day. It doesn't matter what's going to happen in Kul Tiris, Catherine Proudmore, Jaina Proudmore. Nobody really cares. It's gotten it, it literally like this is two or three expansions ago or something like that. It'll be three soon. And then that'll be it. Like, it literally will never matter. It's just a waste of time telling people this. They were unified under Dalin Proudmoore's leadership. But he can hit the escape button. Skip cut cutscenes option exists. So you are unhappy about the fact that this video exists. You typed a whole paragraph. So let's read what some of your comments are. That's most open world games though. I get lost and I've played the game many times. How can you be upset about this? Because the way that you get lost is stupid. Of course you can get lost, but if you add unnecessary complexities to make getting lost easier to do, it's a bad thing. Isn't getting lost in a new game part of the experience? I think you're using the wrong usage of lost. This is such a miss. If players are reacting this way to games they've never played, then no one would have downed Mythic Raids. So you think that he's... It's all fake. So let me get this straight. You think that he's stupid because he's not skipping cutscenes. What does that say about the cutscenes? How does this... Like, have you thought about that? You're correct, but wow, is a role-playing game just after the games exist with a storyline at the core? They dump too much story at the start, which is bad, but eventually AR RPGs will go story-heavy? No, they won't. Classic WoW wasn't like this. Why is it... What, why, why are we... How, how are you guys using an argument that is literally disproven by an earlier version of the same game? What? He's 12, he didn't play Classic? Yeah, that's probably what it is. Let's see, is he still responding? No, because he knows he's fucking idiot. Just get the fuck out of here. Changed after his defeat. When do you play the game? Yeah. Is it furry? You think so? <laughs> Why would anybody okay. care about Catherine Proudmore? She has no relevance in anything in the story. He will, like, I guarantee you in three days, unless he remembers it because of how annoying it was, he will not remember this character's name. Totally hey. irrelevant. The military and the guard. Got it. <laughs> House Waycrest has been a loyal family to the north. <laughs> oh, the all the way to the north. Okay. This future. has to be the last. Oh one. my god. This has to be the last one coming up. Right. Okay. We can do this. Farewell, sir. Finally, some action for Colt. All right, Flynn. What's this big lead of yours? Something about Ashvane having. Oh my god. It's kind of wild to see this. Yeah. Doctor. How is Look that water lead. barrel shot? Making new weapons Fire Flynn's pistol at the barrel! Not like this, I thought that this was a fantasy role-playing game! Alright. Oh, oh shit. That. Who are you in the context of this game? I, I have no idea, Fire Spoon. People just keep trusting me with information and handing me guns to shoot at barrels. Like It's, it's kind of weird that you just like showed up and now you're talking with the king and they're entrusting you with tasks and you're part of like the inner circle of fixing the world. Like it, it's just so ridiculous. It's no backstory. Yeah, there's no backstory at all to this. Crazy. Classic wasn't like this. These absolute Olympian rowers. Just, Look at them. We are flying through the, yep. I mean, this is dangerous to be nearby. I don't oh, see yeah. speed limit signs, but we're definitely going past the speed limit. If someone steps in front of us, they're going to lose a limb. They're going fast. They've got that a motor on so the bottom. That is so fucking sweet. Oh my god, I'm doing content. Two. Wow. Hold oh, on, I'm going to go talk to this urchin worker. Did I find any retail? Fucking insane. It's one of those insane things I've ever seen. Insane, good or bad? I mean, just like, just like insane in the sense of the It's word. overwhelming. It's massively overwhelming to a new player to the point to where I think that a lot of people get 
since I, I bet there is a huge amount of people that start trying to play this game, get sensory overload, and bounce off of it. I bet it's a huge amount. Because, like, just you just compare, like, how many people, oh, I was going to play PoE until I opened up the skill tree, right? People probably had the same thing with this happen. Like, it's so unhinged. It's just, welcome to the game, do this, go here, Get turn this in, here's 50 now. spells. Now, now, turn this guy into a sheep, now hit him. Hit him as hard as you can. I mean, and it, it's just throwing story at me and throwing lore and telling yeah. me to do stuff. Both of those seems pretty cool. Frost. What, 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 what? Ugh. Blizzard, barrier, lance, icicles. What in the fuck? It's right for, oh. I did it. All right. <laughs> okay, hold on, everyone just calm. I think that's a talent tree W. Talent trees were done well. He figured it out in just a matter of minutes. Yeah. Yep. Unbelievably tight. Incredibly sick. Yes, that's what I'm. That is what I am talking about. He doesn't have any add-ons though. How's he gonna raid fun. Mythic Plus? Holy! Two. How's he gonna do PvP? Fucking two, you fucking guys. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Fuck you. Two. It's not intuitive at all. Yeah. Two. Two. B. I think the the lack of intuitive design is something that a lot of people, especially gamers, don't really respect because gamers view the fact that they're able to overcome things that aren't intuitive as like a measure of intelligence. But whenever you see like a five year old who's able to figure out a smartphone and use a smartphone, that doesn't mean that the five year old is smart. It means that the person who designed the phone is smart. It's <laughs> and they're smart enough to make it to where a five-year-old can use it. All these people fucking watching me be bad. <laughs> these are like these are like the perverted cultists at the end of the movie Hereditary. They're just watching horrible things happen with their creepy Ooh. grins and no clothes Ooh. on. <laughs> One, two, flick. Two, three. Two. Dude, I can't believe I'm going to complete a quest that actually involves gameplay. This is so sick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Oh my god. All the innocence. Oh god. Do you really think that it's bad intuitive wise? I do think that a lot of things in WoW are kind of not intuitive. Yeah. This is what it feels like whenever I try to engage with someone on Twitter. As to Benis Hams, this is amazing watching someone play WoW for the first time. It's weird. Yeah, because like my understanding. There are there are a lot of things in WoW that are intuitive though. Players is that they're really upset all the time, and they just log in for ten hours a day and are just fucking busy. Yeah, they just want to be mad for ten hours a day. They have black tar for blood, and every single thing um, that Blizzard does is bad because it uh, is for the casuals and not for them. Yep, that's about right. And those are the people that hate me on Twitter. I mean the game. I mean. Both, both games are, are pretty fun. He ends the stream shortly after this. Thanks for watching. Now that I can play the game. I'm going to be honest. I think Classic WoW is a much better new player experience. If you're coming into WoW right now, and you want to play a new version of the game, and you, you want to start playing the game, I would recommend play Season of Discovery. It's just a better MMO. Exile's Reach is just bad. I think Exile's Reach is okay, but nothing beats just loading in and having to kill some wolves like you know what else is a really good intro experience new world new world it says all right here you are go kill those guys come back all right kill these guys you want to kill go kill a pig cut them up yeah see how that works all right now cook the food there's the food Okay, have fun. Dragonflight is replacing BFA as a starter experience after this coming season. Yeah, but I feel like the problem is that this game has so much complexity built into its DNA. Like, I don't know if you can ever get that complexity out of it without having a, like, a massive, like, long-form reset. It's so rare because I have a different opinion. Classic feels so slow and monotonous to me. I prefer retail for speed and freedom to do anything. Okay. Let me ask you a question. How long have you played World of Warcraft? You say you're a new player. 
no, this isn't a ban. This person's not being rude. Why, why would this person get a ban? You're saying as a new player, but like, how long have you been like really like playing or like paying attention to the game? This is a new player for 13 years. Yeah, I've only been playing since uh, since Shadowlands, guys. I'm a new player. On and off, really. On and off for how long? When was the first time you were on? Never for longer than a month. Yeah, but when was the first time? First started in Legion. So Legion came out in 2016 or 17. That was eight years ago. Or seven years ago. Do you really think that you're able to explain... You're saying this as a, as a new player. I first started in Legion. Yeah, but I haven't been playing since. Yeah, but you played then and you understand the game. You're not a new player if you played the game before. And you said on and off. Like, how about this? You started playing Legion. Do you still play Retail WoW? Yeah, or do you have a Retail WoW character? What's your Retail WoW character? Let me look up your character. God, 9 of 9 Mythic case. Yeah, I've already cleared the new raid on Mythic. Okay, and... Okay, let's search for this person right here. There we go. Is this you? You have 7,000 achievement points. You have 214 collected pets. You have 83 mounts. Shadowlands Dungeon Hero. Look at all of this. What, what are you talking about new player? You probably did these like way later on. I just want you guys to see this. Okay? I want you to see this. As evidence for what I'm saying, is that a lot? I still feel new, maybe not as new? Has it ever occurred to you that the fact that you have in a game... Can you log in right now? I want you to type slash played. And tell me what it says. 14 days. 14 times 24. Uh, what is that? That is about over 300 hours. You've put over 300 hours into the game. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe the fact that you still feel like a new player is evidence of the shortcomings of the game? You've played 300 hours, like just for context here. I've played Remnant for 25 hours, I'm not a new player. I've played Pow World for 200 hours, I'm not a new player. Monster Hunter, I have almost finished the entire game and I have only put 172 hours into the game. Last Epoch, I am not a new player. I have 28 hours in the game. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, to be fair, like 90% of that was AFK. Elden Ring. You have more time in WoW than I have in Elden Ring. 700 hours? Yeah, you can just AFK. I feel like I'm a new player because there's so much that I don't understand. There it is. That's the point. I'm glad that we've, I'm, yep, yep, there it is. This is a great example. I really hope Blizzard sees this video. Of any video for Blizzard to watch, I hope they see this one.